you know, honestly, I really can't believe that I have to make this video. Like, why I even have to make this, why me and so many other people can see this, but this dumbass coaching staff that, you know, criticizes media who says they can't understand play breakdowns, why can't they see this? <sighs> now, when Darius Williams was let go because of salary cap restrictions, we had a hole. And I was really hoping to draft Cooley McKinstry, maybe trade for Marshawn Lattimore. You know, maybe worst case scenario, sign Jeff Kuda, something. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but we signed Ronald fucking Darby. Which I was like, which when this happened, I wasn't a fan of it really, but it's like, all right, you know what? Hopefully he can, you know, at least be average to get us through the year. Got Tyson Campbell coming back. Yeah, they might pick on him a little bit, but we already signed him. Let's see what happens. I said this in an earlier video. And this is not an exaggeration. He is the worst cornerback I have ever seen the Jacksonville Jaguars sign. And there is some prestige of shit in that saying. I would say, like, you can art, like, you can say C.J. Henderson and fucking, um, you can say C.J. Henderson or Dwayne Grotz or somebody like that all you want. I would say the only person that had, the only person that has, like, a, claim to that title besides him is Drayton Florence. And that's mainly because we paid that piece of shit a lot of money. But I want to know what these fucking coaches are seeing that I'm not seeing. Because it's pretty obvious that he splits time with a guy by the name of Monteric Brown, who was a seventh round pick, who really who's been here for the last, this is his third year here, but this guy has literally bust his, his ass to make it onto this roster, steadily climb the depth chart. And even last year when he's gotten into games, he's played solid. And this year even more so. When he is on the field, it is a noticeable difference. Even when Tyson Campbell was hurt, they were like... <coughs> Excuse me. Um... They weren't picking on Rob, they weren't picking on Monteric Brown. They respected him. They were targeting Mr. Crematorium himself, fucking Ronald Darby. Like that Texans game when uh, Tyson Campbell was out, that really showed it. Like I don't have the stats right in front of me, but I think Monteric Brown had got like targeted nine times for less than a hundred yards, and I don't think gave up a touchdown. And um. Ronald Darby, I think, gave up over 200 yards and a couple touchdowns. So, and here in this, and here in this game with the Vikings, one that actually put a game where we actually played the defense as a whole actually played pretty good. Monteric Brownie's out there making tackles, pass deflections. He even got an interception when he was guarding Justin Jefferson. Let that sink in. Justin Jefferson, who I think is one of the who I think is the best receiver in the NFL, Monteric Brown got into a situation where he had to stick him, and he made a fantastic fucking interception. And here, Ronald Darby, he had one like pass breakup this game, which I don't know fucking know how, but he did. Other than that, he's getting other than that, he's getting burnt all the fucking time, and. This play really, this play in this Vikings game really sums it up. This dickhead uh, made an interception, which looked to me like he was, it, was, it should have been flagged for passing affairs, but I, honestly, it didn't matter because, you know, they called it back because Tyson Campbell had like some bullshit holding call, which was complete fucking horseshit, but that's neither here nor there. So this asshole intercepts the ball. 
runs it back. And what do you think he does when someone tackles him from behind? Does he... And he's running along the, along the sideline. What do you think he does? A, get out of bounds. Two, admit... The, B, admit the admit defeat, hold on to the ball, and go down. Or C, try to act like he's some fucking superstar and do some stupid ass little juke move only to fumble from me, only to get get stripped from behind in the fumble and the ball would have went back to the Vikings. You guess C, you would be correct. If that doesn't sum up this asshole season in a nutshell, I don't know what the fuck does. Like, I just want to understand, why is he on the field? Never mind starting and splitting reps with Monteric Brown. Why is he on the field when he, when Monteric Brown and Tyson Campbell are both healthy? I don't fucking get it. What am I like? What am I missing here? Is it money? Because. I believe you got signed to, what, a two-year, $8 million contract? So it's a $4 million a year contract? And I think they can get out, and I think the Jacks can get out of it next year? Like, who gives a fuck? Like, the trade deadline just passed? I'm surprised I'm surprised Monte Brown didn't ask for a trade. And honestly, I, wouldn't, I couldn't fucking blame him. Because why here? Am I, why am I here busting? Why am I here busting my ass and being the best corner I can be when when you're playing this dipshit ahead of me? And no matter how hard I work, I'm still not gonna get get as much playing time as him. Like I want to understand this. And you know, people. T and you know, I said this in the last video. People got us taking Will Johnson, the cornerback from Michigan. I don't think we need to. I think between Tyson Campbell, Montag Brown, Jarian Jones in the slot, I think we're set at cornerback. And before Montag Brown costs too much, I if if I'm Shad Khan or whoever the new GM is after this time, because Balky, please let him be gone next year. Whoever the GM is at the time, I'd be like, look, dude, I'm sorry. You should have been playing. Let's talk about a fucking extension. I'd extend him right there. And he probably wouldn't cost that much. Like, this guy is good. He's a... Like, I don't know what I'm missing here, but every time I see this guy on the field, he looks like a capable starting quarterback. He covers well. He tackles well. His effort and passion is there. I don't know what the hell I'm missing here as to why this guy is not playing more. As to why he is not the clear-cut cornerback, too. Like, I really don't know what I'm missing. But what... A, but, I guess what the fuck do I know? Just another indictment on this stupid ass coaching staff that can't fucking do shit right. And it's and I hate it for this kid. Like I hate it for Montaric Brown because he deserves. Because if nothing else, he deserves to start. He at least deserves a full. He, like at least next year because it's the final year of his contract next year. He deserves a full, a full year to be a starter just to see what the fuck he can do. Like like I hate it for this kid. I really do. But anyway, let me, let me know how you feel. Am I wrong here? But that's all I got, man. I'm gone.